Hello. Today we're going to be transplanting some celery. We're going to be moving it up from yogurt pots into this 10 inch X cut flower water bucket. I've got four stations prepared so we're going to plant four heads of celery in this small water bucket but before I do that let me show you how we got to where we are today by dovetailing in a short clip of film that I shot about seven or eight days ago. Check that out it only lasts four minutes and then come back to me. Okay, it's autopsy time. Maurice Piper. Let's see what's happened. That's the original soil ball that came out of the yoghurt pot. Potatoes inside there somewhere. Still see the roots. No shoots. Well. There's our potato, still feels solid, it hasn't gone squidgy, oh yeah it has, yeah down there yeah, yeah I can see it there, there look did you see that come out there watch on the squeeze where my finger and thumb is, you see that, yeah it's definitely gone, um, so this one didn't grow. Let's go back to the uh, to the bench and decide what we're going to do with this, if anything. We've now got an empty bucket, and we've got at least two and a half summer months still to come. Here at home grown veg in the UK. We need to use this don't we? It's too early to put this one to bed. So what we're going to do is we're going to charge it again and we're going to plant these celery up into it. Can you hear the blackbird? There's a blackbird serenading us at the moment. Yep. These are some celery that I started. I actually had the remains of a packet of celery um, and I just used it the lot and all that came were these six plants. Only six germinated from what was left of a packet of celery. I don't know how many seeds there were in there. There were quite a few. But anyway, I've got six nice celery plants growing here. Um, I've had a look at them the root balls aren't big enough yet really for my liking uh, to move them on into that bucket uh, but when they are bigger we're going to plant some of this celery into that bucket and what I'll also do at the end of this video I'll give you a clip to a video that will show me harvesting celery from a bucket so if proof were needed that it can be done I'll give you it. Okay, so as you could see, uh, we had a, an early failure on our hands. We had a potato that didn't grow, but quite often 
uh, at this time of year we've got early potatoes that have grown and we have harvested potatoes and it's the same end result in terms of uh, bucket and soil we've got an empty bucket and we've got soil in this instance it happened to be a potato that didn't grow but it could quite easily have been a bucket full of early potatoes with a successful reveal hopefully there'll be a few of those later this year so what we're going to do right four stations four celery I've got six but I know I can only really get four in one of these buckets in fact four is probably too much but that's what we're going to do I'm going to take out a yoghurt pot from the 10 inch water bucket and hopefully leave a planting hole that one of these plants will drop straight into but before I drop it in just to give it an extra kick I'm going to drizzle some blood fish and bone into the bottom of that hole okay right let's do this first one out the celery incidentally grown from seed it's the only way to do it unless you're going to buy some celery plants whatever you do don't think you're going to grow celery from shop bought celery by chopping the bottom off and sticking it in a glass of water you might have some fun but you won't get much celery and if you do it'll be skinny hardly chewable stalks of celery that you certainly wouldn't want to buy at the store at the shop you just wouldn't so if you watch any of these regrow videos bear in mind you're not going to get anything that looks like what you've just bought from the shop you're just not I've done it got the t-shirt in fact what I'll do is I'll clip a video of that um, to the end of this video with the other one that I've already promised you about harvesting celery from a water bucket that's been grown from seed the only way to grow celery right let's hope this just pops out yeah I knew it would you know I knew it would <laughs> because I checked it would before I uh, started shooting this video okay so as you can see the roots are just about at the bottom um, I know I'm hoping I can upend this and drop it straight in that hole without this root ball disintegrating so far so good let's go here we go one two three drop ha <laughs> come on <laughs> I love doing that I don't know why but I just love doing that right that's one down three to go Craig if the other three go as well as that one did I'll be well chuffed yep hey don't let me forget to put a drizzle of that blood fish and bone in the bottom of there now this this soil that I've got in here is you saw what I was growing in it I was trying to grow a potato plant in it so that there's probably potato fertilizer still in this soil uh, so these celery are really getting looked after aren't they potato fertilizer plus blood fish and bone and then after that it'll just be water it'll just be water oh yeah now you can tell I'm in a greenhouse now um, but these are not going to be grown in this greenhouse these are going outdoors ready for this one one two three get in there Morton get in there Morton two down let's turn this bucket round two to go I'm having too much fun really I am I'm having too much fun I'm getting excited don't forget the blood fish and bone are you a celery grower by the way do you grow celery have you tried to grow it from from store-bought celery have you, have you give that a go one thing that always amuses me when I watch those videos because I've given it a go myself you'll see the video one thing that always amuses me is this stuff is going to take four five six months to grow and invariably on the regrow videos we're in somebody's kitchen it's a lovely kitchen beautiful they've just brought the celery from the store so they haven't actually grown it 
get in. They haven't actually grown that celery, they've bought it, so they haven't done any gardening yet. And then they get the big knife out and chop the bottom off and put it in some water and a couple of cocktail sticks and two weeks later they've got some roots, they've got some shoots, they're growing celery. Well, I think they are. But when I did it, I actually done that then, planted the celery up in a bucket and grew it outdoors. And I grew it for months and months and I've got to tell you, it grew as tall as me. But it, it, it wasn't a bunch of celery growing there. It was like a a celery bush, it was like a small tree. It really was. Um, did I put any blood fish and bone in there? I can't remember. I'll find out when I watch the video. But if I didn't, it's too late now. Too busy talking. Um, and yeah, so this, this celery plant grew as tall as me. And to be honest, if you like celery leaves, it's worth doing. If you like sticks of celery, pointless, doesn't work. Watch the video. Um, and yeah, and what almost uh, amuses me about this is the people who do grow this stuff indoors and grow it from shop board, if it's going to take six months to grow, are they going to have that on their windowsill indoors for six months? Next to the carrots, next to this, next to that, next to the other. Hey, how about that? How about that? Four heads of celery. Get in there, Morton. Right, we'll just give them a little water. Then they're going outdoors. And hopefully you'll see these again over the growing year. And you'll see me harvest them. But to give yourself some confidence, hey, watch that video that I'm going to clip on now of me harvesting celery. Watch the video of the clip, uh, sorry, watch the video of the celery I tried to grow from shop bought celery, if you want to laugh, and uh, then watch the video of me growing celery from seed. Okay, clip's coming up now. So this is homegrown veg, signing out.